light the inspiration the source of life is light but for some it's just darkness this is ashwini angadi i am from uh, interior a uh, village called um, chellagurki in ballari district in karnataka ashwini comes from an economically backward family she was born with vision impairment but she never considered it to be a disability instead she worked hard and proved to the world that nothing is impossible but with a ray of hope the light within shines brighter when i met uh, two visually impaired people a girl especially girls i heard their story it was really a great depressive they said they are not educated so i made them to join uh, an ngo for self employment training that had inspired me to start this belaku academy with belaku academy under ashwini angadi's leadership her goal is to live support and nurture people with disabilities she has braved all the odds and she stands with hundreds of disabled people like her in this academy like we, it is an inclusive education like we have both uh, uh, visually impaired along with non visually impaired uh, students uh, they are all from poor economical background families and under underprivileged areas difficulties wouldn't stop here ashwini was diagnosed with meningitis during her board exams but it didn't deter her Belaku Academy provides a unique learning platform for visually challenged children and visually empowered children study with children with other disabilities under the same roof. I really did not want to segregate the persons with disabilities because of their disabilities. They should be included in the society and this inclusion should come um from the childhood. So it so what i did is i have both students with uh, uh, disabled and non disabled so that we'll have uh, special educators for visually impaired for reading and writing and for rest of the class in rest of the classes they'll be sitting together eating together fighting together everything they'll learn together that's how the inclusion is going to start and uh, in belaku we'll have activities like uh, hindustani classical music bharatanatyam dance indoor and outdoor uh, sports and we'll have uh, like uh, teaching vedas shlokas we'll have uh, we'll also have folk dances like dollu kunita kamsale and so these are the things that we have in belaku So namaste first of all uh, myself is I am Veeresh so I am working as a music teacher in this Belaku Academy and also Ashwini Angri Trust if you say one word it is a light for all the people who are in uh, depravity in our academy like we also have um, a giving focus on science and mathematics usually people with vision impairment they don't encourage uh, science and mathematics but we people encourage them to study in science and mathematics and gain interest in science and math and achieve in that field and we uh, encourage our students with vision impairment to uh, write their exams on their own through you to the use of computers and in our trust we also have the other projects like self employment for uh, women with uh, uh, disabilities covid times were extremely challenging as guidelines to maintain social distance from each other was severely taxing to the physically impaired who rely on others to function many of them had lost jobs 
Ashwini launched a fundraising initiative which helped more than 50 people with disabilities to get employment opportunities. My name is Anusha. I am a member of the Academy of Ashwini Angdi. I am a member of the training. I am a member of the training. I am a member of the training. And one more thing, I am a member of the training. 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 एस्टो उद्योग अवकाश गलना पढ़ कोन पढ़ को बोधु इधर इंदा मतलब कोविड टाइम का डलेला नमगे एस्टो उद्योग नहीं रिले इल्ला गुह रिले आलमोस्ट्रो हंगा की इतरा उद्योग का पढ़ कोला दिन ना नमन नव मेंटेन मर को बोधु हाँगा की तुम्बा हेल्प आती दे नमन ता फिजिकली एंडी कैफ्टर के ओल्ले अनकोला मर कोटी we are in a rented building, so we are into constructing a new building where we could accommodate 500 uh, people with disabilities. So I request you all to help with this. So because uh, we want to accommodate more and more uh, uh, disabled people and make people uh, to survive in their lives. So please help them and. Uh, make them future bright. Recognizing Ashwini's efforts, she was conferred with the Malala Award by UNO and the Queen's Young Leaders Award given by Queen Elizabeth II. Ashwini strongly believes in the ideology of Swami Vivekananda and has dedicated her life to help educate and train differently able people and is asking the world to come forth and contribute for the betterment of people with disabilities. She also urges families to enroll their physically impaired members to Bellico Academy as she promises to teach them to lead a self-sufficient life with the various skill sets that they will get to learn here. Ashwini aims to train and educate people with disabilities to help them lead a self-sufficient, fulfilling and independent life. With hope in her heart, courage fills her walk. She stumbles, yet she doesn't stop as she remembers. She can't see like us, yet clear is her path.